We're back. Technically, theoretically never left. But whatever. We. Let us get back into it. I suppose. We're, I think, halfway through... The dungeon? I don't even remember anymore. About to find out, though, whenever it feels like loading the stupid thing. If it... There it goes. Okay. So, yeah, we are halfway. Luckily, the second half is pretty quick and slightly more eventful, because there's actually a boss fight, which is always good. Unless you lose the boss fight, and then it's not good at all. I think... I mean, they'll just let them deal with those. I think uh, some of these treasure chests start being mimics at this point, so I have to keep my eye out for that. They're not really that threatening, but you don't want to, in the middle of a fight, open a treasure chest and then have a mimic jump on your face or something silly like that. Kill it. There we go. And I silenced it. On the very last hit, I silenced it. And because we have zero charge, a bunch of these stupid skeletons will keep popping out. Good way to grind some levels. Because you'll build up a chain pretty quick, because they spawn freaking constantly. Slightly irritating for progress, really good for grinding. I probably won't sit here and kill all of them, and there's a Mimic right there. And there's a Battery Mimic over there. I'm probably not even going to worry about Battery Mimics anymore. The regular Mimics, instead of draining electricity, will drain blood, basically. They suck your blood out and heal, which is slightly more painful than electric. I think like half of the... is that another freaking skeleton? Yeah. I think half of the treasure chests in this area are actually mimics. It's also one of the few times you will actually see mimics. I don't remember next time you see them, but I'm pretty sure you don't see them for a very long time after this. Which is good, I suppose. Please don't attack the battery mimic, because I don't want to fight it. Never mind, there's already a mimic here. Curses. Now we may as well kill that other one. Actually, whoa, camera. We're not in a fight with it, so... There we go. Let's just ignore it, and get into a fight with more freaking skeletons. And a mimic, because I'm an idiot. I should probably stop doing that. And Balthier's dead. You have to be careful with the skeletons, because they do actually deal, and the mimics too, but they do actually deal some pretty good damage. Which I suppose you can get around with by actually using better gambits than I have. But, you know me. I'm not one for efficiency. AFK for lunch. What is this nonsense? We don't have lunch around here. Kill it? Just follow it around, that works too. Whatever. There's only one way you can go through this area, so... And it's it gets linear after that halfway point, so it's fairly easy to get through. I don't think River... and there's a battery mimic right there. There's two battery mimics and a skeleton. This could be very painful. Especially since I don't have any real armor on Vaughn and he's taking all the damage. Or both here for that matter. I don't have any real armor on anybody. Now that I thought about that. He does have a shield. Shields give you a percent chance to block attacks. They're... I don't think... Do they add armor? I don't think they do. Nope, just evade. Evade is not actually evade, it's just block. So, keep that in mind. And we got some charge back for killing a battery mimic that hasn't even sucked out any charge. Whatever. These skull defenders are kind of like tanks. They'll cast protect on themselves after a while. And then there's, uh... There's some other skull something. I guess it's just skeletons. These guys don't cast protect, but they do have magic, I believe. They should have basic magic, anyway. They have lunge! That's always good. And they're incredibly easy to kill when you have a group of four. And there's eight million of them, good god. Make sure your party is at least uh, level 8 coming up here, just to simplify matters so you don't get horribly mauled in this boss fight. Spoiler, there's a boss fight. And we're poisoned now. You can set up gambits to remove anything. You can set up anti-poison gambits. You can set up uh, 
anti-everything game. It's basically you can set it to where uh, you use holy attacks on certain enemy types and stuff like that. Gambit system gets pretty complex, especially when you start having like 30 gambit or not 30. Uh, that was way over exaggerated. Like 10, 20 gambits on each character. I don't remember what the max is, but also there's some frogs. They behave exactly the same as the frogs in the sewers, they're just bigger. And more threatening. And I always thought this charge thing was a cool effect because it actually changes the lighting in the area. So those lights back there would, as they just did, they get brighter as you increase the charge. Which is nice. And this sooty ender is eating my face. There we go. There's some more, and I think there's a chest over this way that I want to get. There could not be a chest. I don't remember how to get there. It must be this way, because it's the only thing on the map. Would you kill him? Good god. I think there's a chest back here, but... Doesn't appear that there is one. We're gonna kill this frog anyway. Or both of these frogs. There is a chest. Okay. There better be some sweet loot over here. It's gonna be like a freaking potion or something. And this frog's beating the crap out of me. Again, Silence, I'm pretty sure will keep them from casting their Angel Song, or whatever it's called, that heals them and anything in the area. Or no, that's... No, they do HP regen, that's what they do. They do regen, it's the bats that do the healing thing. Hi, hello, Vitat. Vitat. Vitut. An oaken pole. We don't have anyone that can use that, but that is actually a pretty good weapon. I don't know why I went to freaking... Fron to show it to you, but I did. There it is. 27 attack power. The next closest thing we have is the Mage Masher, I think. Yeah. Lots of attack power and poles, which is good. I don't have anyone that can use them, but, you know, whatever. I'll probably... I may train someone to use them, like Balthier or something like that, because I don't really like the guns. Do not care about your skeletons. That is a lot of skeletons, holy crap. And that is not the way we're supposed to go, because it's blocked off, if you couldn't tell. We have to go all the way to the top up here. Which is a very long path. And there's also a battery mimic up here, and a mini mimic. Tiny mimic, whatever you want to call them. Our path is up here, with all of these bajillion skeletons that are in the way. And a potion. I'm just going to ignore the skeletons, obviously. Apparently we're not quite there yet. Oh, we're almost there. Okay, so we can heal right before it. Good! I'm gonna go ahead and save, because I would prefer not dying horribly. I don't expect to die horribly, but it's always possible. So this boss is... Uh, I can't remember if it's weak to thunder or lightning, or uh, not thunder or lightning. I can't remember if it's weak to thunder or blizzard now. Um, which I think only Fraun knows dark magic. Let's check. I'm pretty sure she's the only one that knows black magic. So she knows it. Nope, Vaughn knows it. And we only have fire. So it doesn't matter what it's weak to, because we only have fire. Unless it's weak to fire, in which case that would be great. I guess we can... Hmm. Let's get some better armor, shall we? He's got light armor. And heavy armor, for whatever reason. I'm, you know what? Let's train him in poles, shall we? And that, by the way, is the weakest pole in the game, I'm pretty sure. That, that uh, oaken pole thing. Apparently there's crossbows up here, too. Don't even know. So poles are two hands, so he doesn't need shield. Um... I would prefer if there was a way to get around some of these without wasting license points, but there's not. Also, these things in the bottom left here, excuse me, uh, the rods and there's uh, angles or something like that that's down there, those have special effects on hit and stuff like that, so you, some of them will heal on hit, some of them are mute on hit or something like that, but they have basically no damage. May as well give them that too. Now he has poles level 2. And a gambit slot. Why not? I'll start stacking some gambits here. Does she have any things she can learn? Nope. Let's stack some gambit slots then. 
Sadly, uh... Ooh, extra HP. I like extra HP. There's a lot of extra HP and MP things around here that are good to pick up. They get pretty expensive as you go, though. Uh, what was I saying? I don't remember. Oh yeah, sadly at the beginning of the game you can't really rely on black magic too much because, quite frankly, no one has any MP. You don't need a gambit slot. But you do need hit points. Um, I could give them... That's going to be a long time before I can even use level 3 white magic. Battle Harness, I think, is extra strength. Charge is good. I might give that to some people here. Charge you can use to, um, as it says here, you can use it to restore MP. It has a slight chance of failing. If it fails, it drops to zero. So it's kind of good to put it, like, if MP less than 10% or something like that, so you don't waste a bunch of MP if you fail. Um, but he needs... Uh, he's going daggers, isn't he? Yeah. Up here are some ninja swords that I would like him to have, because quite frankly, ninja swords are very good. Especially for someone like him, so I'm gonna go, go ahead and go down this pathway here and try and ninja my way to the ninja swords. Other than that, I think we're good to save. Even though I... Didn't I just save? I don't even know. Probably did. I'm kinda derpy like that. Uh, here we go. And we will continue on to our boss fight. With no additional gambits, because I don't think Balthier has cure, does he? He does have cure already, never mind. And Vaughn's not using gambits, because I said I wouldn't do that at the beginning, so I'm going to continue doing that. Unless I forget, which is always possible. Hello, Martin, how are you? Welcome to boss fights. Woo. That's disgusting looking. It craps out treasure chests. Good news. Also, I forgot to fix my shadow error glitching problem thing, but welcome to the boss. Does it remind you of Legend of Zelda yet? Except now we don't have a... a uh, Focus on the Mimic Queen, by the way. If you have magic, now would be a good time to use it. Otherwise, just beat the crap out of it. Um, she'll keep making little mimics. The problem is the little mimics just screw up your hit points like crazy. Because there's so many of them. So I'm just gonna run around and hope my healers keep me alive. That's basically the only... Oh, nope, they didn't. <laughs> That's usually what I try to do, is hope my healers keep me alive, but that doesn't look like it's going to be happening. So we're going to have to kill the little mimics. Um, switch healer, or switch party. I still don't remember what the super key is for switching your leader in the field, but whatever. Um, please kill the battery mimics, tiny mimics. What, oh, this is bad. Back up. I can't control Bosch, so I can't tell him to back up. And we weren't far enough away. That is AoE, if you haven't figured that out yet. Um, Bosch might die here. Nope. Okay. He still might die, regardless, but not yet. That is an obviously AoE attack. You can dodge it. I don't think it's full arena AoE, but it does pretty hefty damage, and it will do it fairly often, too. Um, kill the Mimics, please. And this is why I said gain some levels before you do this boss fight, because, quite frankly, this boss is obnoxious. I th it, I'm pretty sure it's weak to some form of magic. I just... I'm pretty sure it's not fire. Do I have Leaper? Steel? No. I don't have Libra. Curses. Does anyone have Libra? Hold on, let me check here. It should be under techniques. Steel, first aid... Steel. Nope, no one has Libra, apparently. I was going to scan it and see what exactly it's weak to. Um, I would have preferred I would be not standing there when it did that, but I was. And it just did Breath of Life, which I'm not sure what that does. And neither of these two have magic. Um... Do we not have... 
Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Well, Vaughn is dead. Because, uh... And what is it? Breath of Life crap it's doing here. We don't have any Phoenix Downs, apparently. So, that's lovely. Oh, now it's spawning more Mimics. Yay! I love when it does that. Shoot it. There we go. Now you understand why I despise this boss. With a passion. If I could get Fraun to move around, that would be great. I keep forgetting he has gambits on. Oh well. Because that would regen her... Uh, we don't have many potions left either. That would regen her MP. Which is, would be great. Right now, she's just kind of standing there. This is going quite poorly. What if I run over here? Don't mind me. I'm just running along. The thing with guns is it takes so long to cycle uh, between attacks because of the long delay after the issue. Bows are about... I think bows are a little bit faster. I know guns are like the slowest thing. So. And he made a whole bunch of little mimics. Which is why I don't like focusing on the mimics. Because they just respawn. And Bosch died. And he did this attack again. This is going well. So Fraun is the only one that got hit. Uh, can you heal yourself? I'm not in range to control her. There we go. You have to be at least somewhat near your party to control them, so... Keep that in mind. She's being killed by Mimics, isn't she? Yep. Also, it's going to kill me. It is trying very hard to kill me right now. Run away. All of the Mimics are trying to kill me. On the plus side, Fraun moved enough to use Cure. We may still win this, even without our freaking Phoenix down. Just because it's focusing on Vault here. Don't... Oh, he's gonna cure himself. Crap. Run away. Come on, Fraun. Kill it, please. Kill it. This is just the worst this boss fight has ever gone for me, I'm pretty sure. Kill it? Oh, it's attacking Fraun now. Fran, Fran, Frun, however you want to pronounce that. And she's dead. And it's using Crown Shaker. Ah, oh, Jesus. Worst boss fight ever. Come on, both of you, come on. Too many mimics. Get a shot off. Do something, something productive. Oh, that's like four more hits. Good god. Welcome to Guiding Bosses! How to solo fight bosses involves lots of kiting, by the way. Shoot it. He's gonna stop to cure himself if he gets hit again. Which override, yep, it overrides his attack. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. Luckily, this thing's really slow. Some of the other bosses are either really fast or have long range attacks, so you can't really kite them like this. Oh, come on, he has no health left. Sadly, everyone's dead, so they're not gonna get anything for this. That can be made up for with just random fighting, though. The bosses don't give a terribly large amount of experience or anything. It's not like Final Fantasy X, where you get 20,000 for a boss fight. And we won! Thank god, because I didn't want to do that fight again. Although, how not to do that fight right there. Preferably you'd be a bit more prepared on Phoenix Downs, like I wasn't. And now we're in the middle of a desert. Even better. To think Dalmascan air could taste so sweet. Where are we? In yes, Dalmasca. by the look of it. Let's back to Ravanasta before we shrivel up. By your leave, Captain. Yes, the hour of my return is already over late. The people may hate me, but that does not free me of my charge. 
What is his charge, you may ask? To protect the princess. So here's where we are. Uh, that is away from Abenaster. We need to go south to there. The little di the dinosaur is in that area right there. Uh, it's the only place we've explored here. So we've got quite a trek to go. Also, this area kind of looks like the calm lands, if you recognize that general shape. It's got a long pathway. It's got a little branch off to the side there that's tiny. Uh, kind of looks like that. I don't know if there's any reference to that at all, but what is it called, actually? Can I... No, I can't. Never mind. Can I do it now? No, because I don't know where it is. Okay. It was just telling us how to get back, I guess. We need to get everyone back to life by doing that. And for some reason, Bosch is still with the party, even though he walked off. I don't think he's supposed to be with us. Eh, yeah, whatever. I don't think you can buy anything until you get back to town, so... The boss is still inside. So the boss has the key, and there's another entrance to that place. You can't actually go back to it. It's kind of like a side quest deal thingy, I'm pretty sure. Now, what we need to do is get back to Rabinaster. All these enemies I sh or should be extremely easy to kill out here. Yeah. There's not really any point to killing them, so I'm just going to run. They're going to give no experience, and they should be level, like, 2 or so. Because you can explore out here at the very beginning of the game if you want to. There's no reason to, but if you wanted to. And the cockatrices should still be level 3, let me... yeah. If their name is white, they're basically not even worth dealing with. If it's yellow, they should be on level, or at least worth the time to do it. And then obviously red is you don't want to kill them. Or fight them, I should say. You do want to kill them. You just don't want to fight them. Because they'll maul your face. This is the same wolf. Yeah, I thought there was going to be different enemies, but it's the same wolves. So running back we go. I may end up uh, doing some fancy pants editing and... What is that? Cactoid, you say? Just wanted to see what that was since it popped out of the ground. Anyway, I, what I may end up doing is just speeding up parts where I'm just fleeing like this, since basically nothing but travel happens, so I could speed it up. And save, uh, well, I was gonna say save everyone time, but that's only saving YouTube time. Which may or may not be beneficial. Where is the exit to this place? Apparently somewhere in this direction. The problem, the problem with fleeing is the instant you let go, everyone pulls out their weapons and then puts them away again when you start running, so it takes a whole bunch of time to reset the fleeing thing. Also, here's the exit. Yay. If you don't know where something leads, there will be question marks above the little blue dashed line thing. The area transition. If you do know where it leads, it'll say something like that. So now we are back. We're back. We're in the wrong place, but whatever. We went back to the Giza Plains, or the Giza Plains, or whatever. Hmm. That's not where I wanted to go, but I guess we could go back this way. It's not like it matters, we're just going to Rabinaster anyway. Doo -doo -doo. I forgot that the Esther Sands links into this place. The Esther Sand links into a lot of places. It's also on the east, so it's kind of like the Easter Sand, I suppose you could call it. It's not what I'm going to call it, but that's what you could call it. And frame drop. There we go. Again, it is running on an emulator, so occasionally my computer will have like a small seizure and drop some frames. I can't really do anything about that, other than not stream, but that's no fun. And that would only fix some of it. It wouldn't fix, like, major frame droppage. It would just fix the little stuff, like when I do that and the frames drop a little bit. Which probably isn't even noticeable on the YouTube side, since it's like five frames or something. Maybe it is noticeable, I don't know. I'm recording at 30, so I don't think it should matter that much. I was hoping I could get through this entire area. Oh, you know what the problem is, actually? I'm streaming in 720, aren't I? 
Ammo. Yep. Streaming in 720. Good job, me. Hello, Thupin. I may have to actually uh, pause the stream for a second to fix that, because I'm getting some frame drop. I'm going to do that. Hold on one second. I'd avoid crowds if I were you. In this town, you're still a traitor, you know. The resistance do, do, do. will surely find me soon. Do, do, do. There's my mouse. Look at that. Fates will we meet again. I would pay my respects to your brother. You're a fugitive now, too. Stay low for a while. There we go. What about the stone? Do you now that I'm not streaming in freaking 720p you while running an emulator. We sought that stone and found ourselves only worry. Solves that problem. It's mine. Then why'd you ask? Our regards to your girl. We stay in Rabanastra a while. Sorry if you were enjoying the 720p on the stream side. I think? cannot stream that high while running an emulator. Trust, My computer kind of like seizes up and then spazzes them. out a little bit there. But maybe I should show it to Pinello first, so she knows I got something. She'd be at Miguel's place this time of day. I got some sweet loot, Pinello. Check out my sweet loot. You'll keep that item through basically the entirety of the game. I'm still going to drop frames, obviously. Um, and yeah, Vaughn talking to himself like a boss. But it's far smoother now that I'm not streaming at freaking 720p. But anyway, these are teleport moogles. Uh, they run the teleport system in Rabinaster. This is the only time you'll ever have a teleport system. But you can talk to them. Um, they're gonna explain it to me. Uh, blah blah blah. This is the first time you can use it, by the way. It's it's closed up until this point, but you can teleport around uh, Rabinaster to get around faster. We are not gonna use that because we are exploratory. What are you doing? Moogling attendant, eh? There's a moogling attendant right over there. Why don't you like go go chill with your friend there? As it points me over there. I've already discovered that. We don't need a chocobo. Um, hmm. I guess we can just continue into town. We need to go to... Uh, I don't remember the dude's name now. Curses. Let me just break the game real quick by clicking out of the screen. There we go. You got all your PlayStation games back. My word. Also, I saw Akasha pop up in chat and then disappear immediately afterwards. If you're still here, hi. <laughs> and the view count dropped a bit. I don't know. Whatever. 